Welcome to Tinkernut.com's video cast. Now, for the past couple years, there's been a big debate as to which is better, Linux or Windows. Now, if you're not familiar with what Linux is, it's an operating system just like Windows, except it's free to download. And you can download various versions of it from the internet. Currently, the most popular version of Linux is Ubuntu, and it's free to download from ubuntu.org. Um, so what we're going to do in this video cast is show you how you can run Ubuntu Linux on Windows as an application. This means that you don't even have to restart Windows to run it. And we're going to do this by using a program called VMware and of course we're also going to use Ubuntu. Alright so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is download VMware and to do this what you want to do is go to the link listed here and uh, download the VM player. You will have to uh, fill out a quick little questionnaire and accept the terms of agreement but other than that um, it's free to download and you just want to download it to your desktop and it's pretty large so it may take a little while and then the next thing you want to do is, is download and install Ubuntu which is also a really large file so it will take a little while also um, and you can just search for it in Google to get to the page and, uh, and then you want to select the region closest to you and then click start download and just save that to your desktop as well and again it may take a little while um, and then the third thing you want to do is download the OS image file, which, uh, which will be pretty quick because it's a, it's a really small file. And just uh, type in this URL, and it's a direct link to the zip file. So right when you hit enter, after you type it in, um, you'll be able to download it. So uh, save that to your desktop also. And now what you want to do is install VMware. So just double click on the icon that you downloaded to your desktop and let the installation load then click next, next and install um, the defaults are generally fine and then click finish it's pretty simple um, and then what you want to do is install Ubuntu on VMware so it, extract the OS zip file that we downloaded and drag the ISO image um, of Ubuntu into that folder and then if you want, you can rename the ISO image to something easier to remember, like Ubuntu.iso. And then what you want to do is right-click on the .vmx file and uh, choose Open With Notepad. And uh, um, what you want to do here is where it says IDE 1 colon 0 and file name, you want to change that to the Ubuntu image file. So just uh, change it to whatever you named it to, dot .iso. And then also on this page, you can adjust uh, you know, uh, the memory size and things like that. But other than that, just close it out. And uh, um, now all you have to do is double click on the .vmx file. And then just click OK for that little warning. And it should automatically start loading the Ubuntu ISO. Um, and you can uh, just click Start Ubuntu start or install and just wait for it to load now keep in mind that this isn't the actual installation this is uh, just a, a what's called a live CD so if you were to actually close out of it then um, you would you would lose anything that you would uh, that you were working on for the most part so uh, um, just keep that in mind this isn't an actual installation so you can't actually install things on it um, it's just mainly to test out Linux without actually having to install it on a separate partition or anything like that well that's it for this tutorial for more go to tinkernut.com <laughs>